Oh boy. Guys, we keep picking up on this energy, these masculines, man. I'm telling you. Um, yeah, they're, yeah. They full on realize, man, this person's heartbroken. They're having a painful ending. They're realizing that whatever they invested in, um, it's just, it turned up nothing for them, okay? They missed out on a blessing in love here with you, and now they're feeling like a fool. I, this person could have been stabbed in the back, betrayed. I feel like they're finding out some information. I keep picking up on a masculine out here who's getting cheated on. Um, let's see what we have. Yeah, I feel like somebody's been cheated on here. I have to say, whoever they've been with instead of you, whatever karmic situation this person's been in, they're finding out they've just been betrayed, guys. I keep I, I keep getting this message in so many readings. They're, they're finding out they've been cheated on. They could have even found out they've got an STD here with this Ace of Wands and the Page of Pentacles and the Sun. Uh, definite betray. Yeah, I feel like somebody gave this person an STD. I gotta say, someone gave this person a little uh, present here, right? An STD. This is how they're finding out that they've been cheated on. They're feeling like a fool. They're realizing that, uh, you know, I feel like this person is realizing, right, what all they missed out on. This is really making them wake up, okay? Um, to their past behavior here. This person used to run around doing whatever they wanted, you know. Um, they didn't, they may not have taken things seriously. They may have made some impulsive moves, a risky decision, wasn't looking where they were going, thought that they maybe knew it all, knew what they were doing. They've got warnings. Dude, you're going to fall off of this cliff. You're going to step right in. You're not watching where you're going. You don't know what's going to happen. The divine has been giving them warnings this whole time. And they didn't listen. They thought they knew better. You know, and now this person is finding out that they've got an STD. They've been given an STD here. Because uh, I feel like whoever they chose instead of you... I feel like they were cheated on, to be honest with you. Yeah, I feel like you know something's going on here, too. You know it, collective. You're very, very intuitive here. Um, and I feel like this person's going to try to hide it. Here's the thing. With the high priestess, she is the secret keeper. This person's going to be keeping a secret. If they come and approach you, which I feel like they might, you're going to see the red flags here. Um, I don't think that, yeah, you're going to see, you see the truth. You're going to see the truth. You, you have absolute clarity because you do listen to the messages that you get from the divine. Okay. Um, yeah. Yep. They went and got themselves stuck. They're realizing here. I feel like there was some kind of, uh, Somebody could have been working together as a team here, a group. Um, I just feel like somebody's, somebody's realizing here. This person could have been told by some other people that somebody was cheating on them. Now they're stuck. They're feeling very stuck. They're, reali they're realizing that years of time, energy, money spent, it was spent, it, it went into the wrong situation. And this person's like a mess right now. An emotional, I just feel the heavy emotions off of this person. Realizing that they, um, they missed out on a blessing in love here. I feel like there were secrets. Things are coming to light and um, not the way this person wants them to. I feel like they've been hanging out in a situation where they've been working, maybe providing. I, I feel like this was all for money. They're realizing that too. This person's been majorly betrayed. This masculine has been 10 swords in the back, finding out they were cheated on possibly an STD, realizing that it was all for money. 
and they missed out on a blessing in love. But I, like I said, this person's been worn so many times, and they just decided to not pay any attention. I mean, that was a choice that they made. Now this person can't stop thinking about you. They want the collective now. What did I say? They can't stop thinking about you. Their earth angel. Look at that. I feel like you are the one who's, you're the one who is clean here. Um, you've had nothing but integrity. You've been nothing but patient in this situation. Um, yeah, and you guys, you're the one person that they haven't talked to. All they can do is watch you now and think about you and remember how wonderful you were and how good you were to them and how they consider you wifey material, okay? But now I feel like they, it was almost like an ego issue. I'm really feeling ego here. Like they were warned and warned and warned and warned. And they're like, I do what I want to do, right? I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to make this decision. I made the decision. I know it's the right decision. No one can tell me anything. You know what I mean? It's that kind of feeling off of this person. And uh, they got themselves in a, in a lot of trouble here. Yeah, I feel like this karma hit this person really hard. Now they're in a lot of regret, okay? Knowing that whatever they, like I said, whatever they chose over you, there was no love in it. It was all about money, them being a provider. They had this chance at a blessing and love collective and they tossed it to the curb when they turned their back on you. This person is in a lot of regret. It feels like shame, actually. But that's they paid a hefty price for their ego. You know? They paid a hefty price. For that ego and the the stubbornness of this person now they all they want is a new beginning i can kind of get the feeling like this person is just kind of standing here thinking to themselves if only they could turn back the clock they they're wishing here they would have had this taken this new beginning with you instead i feel yeah because they would be happy and they'd be growing something solid with you here you are, you're the Ten of Cups. This is beautiful. You're the, you're the Ten of Cups, ultimate wish fulfillment. Empress in the Minor Arcana. You could be a Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, possibly a Gemini, Cancer, Pisces. Your person here could be an Aries, heavy on Virgo, really heavy on Virgo. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo. Yeah, Leo Aries Sagittarius, sorry. Yeah, but they see you as their wish fulfillment now, and they're thinking to themselves, if only I had taken this offer, this Ace of Cups, they wouldn't be in this issue right now. And not, they, not only would they not have been cheated on, they wouldn't have had to take ten swords in their back, They uh, they wouldn't have had to you know, expend all of their money, time, resources, energy, but they would also, like I said, they'd be living a dream life right now if they had chosen you, Collective. This is, I've been saying it in my readings too, this is one of those times when you have the golden ticket and you realized you just threw it away for no reason. That's what this person did. They had that. This is the golden ticket, right? I've got the golden ticket, right? Yeah. Um, and they threw it all away. This is them realizing that they threw it all away. They had it all. They had a chance at ultimate wish fulfillment. They had a chance to grow um, a lot of financial abundance. Be with somebody who they saw as wifey material. Someone who gave them nothing but love would have never hurt this person. You were honest with them. You know, none of this would have happened to them. But this person here is suffering their karma because their ego, 
the way this person thought, they thought they were more powerful than the messages they were getting from the divine, the warnings. They thought they knew better. And they didn't. You know, now this person can't eat, they can't sleep, they're having to take a, whole, a cold, hard look at themselves and where their um, impulsive, risky moves led them, right? Yeah, tower moment. It led them straight to a tower and up all night. Yeah, yes it did. Um, I just feel like they were stubborn, they were arrogant, um, they were living out of their ego, um, and they, you know, they invested into the wrong thing, and they refused to listen to the messages. I don't know what else to say. They're getting struck hard with karma. You know, this person has invested a lot that they are never going to get back. They may be left with one pinnacle here, enough to have a new beginning. But I feel like, you know, I mean, they're going through a lot of heartache, betrayal, and, and an illness now that they may not be able to get rid of. Because they didn't listen to the warnings. This person's been warned this whole time. You know, and here you are, right? The one with integrity. The one who, stand, who has stood by um, your, your truth and your boundaries this whole time. Yeah, I feel like if uh, whatever this person chose over you, Collective, it's coming to an end with the tower here. Um, because honestly, I mean, you know, who would, who would stay in a situation like that after that, right? Who would stay? I, I mean, if this doesn't, if this doesn't um, teach them a lesson about, about how, you know, being stubborn and being arrogant. I don't know what will. Now this person wants to come and apologize to you. But after all this, I, I feel like you're, you've been paying attention to yourself. You've been focusing on you, whatever it is that you're growing here. Um, and you're doing really, really, really well for yourself. You're happy. You don't need anyone in this, in this energy that you're in. And I feel like even this person knows, is this apology even going to be enough, right? Plus, they're coming as a page to an empress in, a min in the minor arcana. I mean, this person's pretty much been brought down to size. You know, they've been put in their place. And I feel like um, in a really bad way, but th this is what the divine does. They cause a tower moment. If this person got so many warnings and they didn't listen, the if the divine wants them out of a situation or wants them to learn a lesson, they'll find a way to do it. Yeah, I feel like too, they're with, uh, they're with somebody else, maybe even a couple of different feminine energies that just won't leave this person alone. They just don't, they, and they're very clingy. Like, this tower's coming down, and still the karmics want to hang on. Still. Even though this, this masculine has realized it was all about money, there's other people involved in the situation, possibly two. They've been betrayed, and still the karmic does not want to let this person go. You know, it's... It's, it's kind of sad, actually, guys. It's really sad because, like I said, they were warned and they just chose to ignore it. They thought they knew better. And no, no, yeah, the divine is putting an end to this. I feel like the karmics are getting a warning here. Cease and desist now. I feel like these karmics are getting warned. Whoever is still clinging on to this, this poor masculine here, okay, they're getting warned. Could be a possible air sign, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, that's getting warned. Your person could be a, we're heavy on Virgo, water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah. 
they're getting warned. I feel like you're you're freeing yourself from this mental in my mental mind entrapment. <laughs> I don't know why I can't talk. Uh, mind trap. You're freeing yourself from this collective. I feel like this person had you in this position, but not anymore. This is a new cycle, and I feel like it's this old past cycle is coming to an end, and you're moving forward. You're moving forward here. You're moving on. Collective has left the building. And this, this masculine here, I mean, especially after all that they're finding out, and still the Queen of Swords energy, this karmic will not leave them alone. Yeah, the Divine's like, back off. Back off. I don't know what's going to happen to these karmics if they don't start backing off. I feel like they've got somebody new already. That's really what I'm feeling like here. They've got somebody new already. I'm feeling that as a completely separate energy from your person. So they are being warned by the higher font right now. The divine is warning them. Let's see what happens to them if they don't listen. You know? Because they like absolutely, it seems like they re just refuse to let this, this masculine go. So everyone in, in, this, in this toxic karmic situation, they're all getting a tower. Okay, the masculine, this feminine energy, I feel like this person's going to be involved in the karma as well. Whoever the, this karmic has on the side, possible king of wands, and, and maybe even a page of swords. I feel like there's a couple people working against this person, trying to keep them stuck. And I mean, this, this masculine's life is just crumbling right now. But it's all because they didn't listen to the warnings. That ego, man, they just, they had to hang on to that, and what did I say? They had to hang on to that ego. And they had to hang on to that toxic situation. Maybe even try to prove that it was going to work. You know, and this is what they get here. I feel like this is their karmic justice for hanging on to the devil instead of you know, grabbing a hold of this uh, Ace of Cups here, the blessing and love that they were offered. They had the choice. The devil or something divine, and they chose the devil. And they kept choosing the devil. They refused to let go. And now they're getting their karma for this. Like I said, they were warned. And they still refuse to let go. All right, so what else can you show me about this masculine and this karmic situation? I feel like you're freed from this collective. You're doing really, really awesome right now. Just focused on you, building your, your money, right? Emperor, I feel like this person needed to boss up. And they didn't. Some of these people could have gotten somebody pregnant here. I have to say it with the Emperor and the Sun card peeking out. Um, they could have gotten it. For some of you, they got an STD. For some of you, they got somebody pregnant. This is too many. Yeah, you're. I feel like you're making the judgment call here. This person's watching you move on, and they're very burdened by that. They may want to talk to you, but I feel like they're being blocked. They're being held back by the divine. Because, see, the divine doesn't want this karma to come over to your side. I'm seeing this as your side. The divine wants the karma to stay with these people who deserve to have the karma. 
So I feel like this person's being held back. I feel like you're making a judgment call here. This whole situation's under judgment. But I feel like um, you're being blessed with a brand new beginning, an Ace of Cups, and here comes a new soulmate connection. So your person's watching you, studying you, watching you leave the scene, leaving this energy all together, and seeing that there's competition in the picture now. Because you're about to get somebody new. You are. You've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. You're moving on, having a victory. You know, and I feel like they know they should have made this decision when they had a chance. Because it could have turned out to be something very, very beautiful. Ten of Pentacles. This is what they could have had. They could have had the Ten of Pentacles with you. The Wheel of Fortune would have turned in their favor had they made the decision when they were warned. But they didn't listen, so now they're burdened instead. And, and for some of them, if it's a pregnancy or an STD, this person's going to have to carry that burden for years to come, maybe all of their life. Yeah, it's everything that they could have had, this person. I really just wanted to see what the progress was, but the progress is, is they're getting hit really hard for their karma. And the karmics are being warned right now to back off. I don't react when people mention you. The timing just wasn't right for us. The thought of you with someone else drives me crazy. I wonder if you still think about me. How do you feel about, about me now that you've had time to reflect? Yeah, I feel like they're watching you behind the scenes. So whatever you're posting out there, this person's seeing it. Okay, they're obsessively watching you because they know... They know they just threw away that golden ticket. Okay, and I feel like the timing wasn't right for you because they were in a toxic situation. Now this person is suffering their karma. They're going to be learning their lesson here. Um, but it may be too late. I feel like this is a cycle that's coming to an end. The door is closing on this person and the karma is being delivered very quickly I also feel like um, there's a lot of gossip about you maybe people trash talking you um, and I feel like this person just kind of tries to hide how they feel about that yeah right now collective this particular person here see it was my fault but I blamed you they're starting to look at themselves, but this person has, um, they have some lessons to learn. They have some healing to do, and they have to clean up the toxic mess before they come towards you. <clears throat> what I'm really feeling like here is this person's being blocked from coming towards you right now. They, they're getting their karma, and the divine doesn't want you to get their karma. You're getting blessed. They're getting karma. You're getting blessed. And it all has to do with the effort you put in and, um, and whether or not, you know, you, like you listen to the messages. Here you are talking to that little bird. You're listening to what the divine is telling you, and that's why you're a success. That's why you're going to be happy. That's why you're getting blessed here. But your person didn't listen. They ignored the messages. And so they get their karma. So yeah, it's going to take a while for this person to be able to come towards you. Basically because they're being stopped by the divine. The divine is holding them back from coming towards you right now. For good reason. You do not want to be part of this karma. Okay? But, but, um, because this person did not come forward and do what the, the divine wanted them to do, the door, I feel, is closing on them right now, 
and the door is opening on new love for you. So you're about to get a new soulmate connection. You're about to get blessed with new love and a brand new abundant beginning that you worked for. So I feel like, um, you know, just consider yourself very lucky because your rejection here was your protection, okay? Give me one more for what this person wants to say to the collective. I can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, they can't stop thinking about you because um, I feel like... Uh, This is a very strong connection that's been, that it has probably been pulling on your energy a lot, okay? And I, I kind of picked that up when I got this out here. That's why I was like, you are free. You're free, right? Um, so you may feel this person still thinking about you, but I, I feel like, um, I don't know how to describe it exactly. I feel like you're a light worker who kind of triggered this person on this journey, and now um, you're teaching this person a lot, okay? They were supposed to come forward and do the right thing, and they didn't. And that's why they're suffering a lot of karma right now. But, um, yeah, I feel like you really impacted this person's life in a way that you'll never, I don't even know if you can understand it, really. You know what I mean? It's... It's deep. They're having to take a look at themselves now. And I feel like you're a huge part of that. So, you know, um, if you think you didn't mean anything to this person, think again. I feel like, th you know, once they get through all of the lessons that they need to learn, you're going to mean more to them probably than anybody else in their life. Because you're going to be opening them up. You, this is somebody starting their journey, but they've got to get through the karma first. Okay, and I feel like you brought them to this journey, whether you think so or not. So I feel like you've done your job, you've learned your lessons, you've passed all your tests, and now you're moving forward. You're leaving this last cycle, and you're graduating here into the new one. And in this new one... This is where you're going to find your milk and honey, right? This is where you're going to be abundant. You're going to find new soul, a new soulmate connection. You're having this victory, new love, happiness, emotional fulfillment. You're going to be really, really good because you did the work. Now it's your person's turn. Anyway, collective, listen, that's what I've got for this quick energy check. Um... There's a lot going on with the energy right now, so a lot of readers are just giving you checks to see what the progress is. You know what I mean? Um, this is big progress, but this is not the kind that we like to see. It's your person getting hit with a lot of crap right now. But it is progress, okay? However... You're, you're making the most progress here because I feel like now you've reached this part of your journey where you can move on without, without being heartbroken, okay? This is healing. So, yeah, you did a fabulous job. And you were smart enough to listen to God, right? Um, but your person, they've got to learn who's in charge here, and I don't think it's them,